error due to incorrect chain may occur due to many reasons. It can be due to temperature or uh, due to environmental conditions or uh, <coughs> the manufacturer may have uh, made a mistake during the manufacturing. Uh, so the, uh, the reason can be anything uh, and because of it the size of the chain uh, increases or decreases. Uh, say if the chain is too long uh, then we will have a negative error and uh, therefore a positive correction. Let me give a quick example for it. Uh, say I have to measure a distance between A and B and we, uh, the distance is 64 meters in real. Uh, I am using a tape of 30 meter. Uh, or at least I think it is 30 meter but in actual it is 32 meters long the chain uh, so when I am using this chain this 32 meter chain uh, which I actually think is 30 meter I will uh, uh, I will uh, this 64 meters will be covered by two chain lengths so uh, I will enter the value of 60 meters as my uh, uh, distance between A and B but in actual it would have been 32 meter into 2 which is 64 meters. Uh, so uh, 64 meter uh, distance is uh, uh, entered as 60 meter. So uh, the error is negative because in, uh, uh, in real it is 64 meter the uh, answer we have got is 60 meters. The error is real uh, negative therefore a correction of positive has to be applied a correction of plus 4 has to be applied to obtain a value of 64 so from this we can understand what happens if the chain is too long and vice versa applies for uh, the case when the chain is too short so now uh, say I have measured a um, uh, let's take this as the example uh, now I have to find now I don't know that uh, the real distance is 64 I have to find out this distance what is this distance I have to find out so I have, I, I know a formula here that is the true length uh, I have got 60 meter uh, but I have to find the true length the true length is equal to measured length into incorrect length by uh, correct or the uh, length that the manufacturer has claimed it uh, it is so the true length l is equal to l dash which is the measured length i have measured the length of 60 meters so 60 into l dash which is incorrect length the incorrect length is 32 meters divided by the correct length or the true length which is 30 meter so I will get the answer as 64 meters which is my answer. So this is how we will find the uh, true length when we have uh, made a mistake or when there has occurred an error due to incorrect chain. Next uh, say I have to find the area. So here also true area is equal to A uh, is equal to A dash that is the measured area into the same uh, factor l dash divided by l the whole square uh, for volume it is l dash by l the whole cube uh, and uh, um, here l dash by l can be written as the real length plus uh, delta l the change in length by uh, l which is the same the denominator and this can be simpl simplified as 1 plus delta l by l where, where delta l by l can be written as e and uh, further the formula uh, becomes L dash by L is 1 plus E and therefore uh, V dash is equal to uh, V is equal to V dash into L dash by L where L dash by L will become 1 plus E the whole cube and in case E is small we know that when this is expanded we will get E cube and all so this E cube is going to be uh, further small when compared to the error so that will be negligible and in result we will get 1 plus 3 E. So this is about the correction due to the error uh, caused by incorrect chain. Uh, I'll, I'll throw in some quick tip. Uh, these formulas are easy to remember if you keep this in mind. That is true into true is equal to uh, wrong. I'm sorry. Wrong into wrong. You can uh, see it from this example. Uh, this example. Uh, this is the true length. 
whereas this is the uh, this l is the true length so when you bring l here it becomes true into true this is equal to wrong incorrect length into uh, the measured length which is also the incorrect length so keep this uh, formula in mind uh, this will help you to remember the other formulas thank you so much for watching guys please do like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video bye